I have really sad news. Unfortunately, my dragon Boo had died. The story was we were out looking for flowers and his toe touched the water and he kind of just sunk. At the time, I forgot that dragons um, can't swim. Well, not A the dragons, which is what Boo was. But he did not die for no reason. On the flower picking mission, I had found some dragon eggs, which was three A the dragons, which was what Boo was, and an ice dragon. But on a happier note, the first thing I had to do was fix this pond, it's bringing down my real estate value. But of course I had to get a fox because they're adorable. I'm thinking of naming him Clarence. If you have a better name, please suggest it. But Clarence is his name at the moment. And after fixing my broken real estate value, I thought it was time to upgrade my armor and tools because this is episode four and I'm still using iron, like it's a little bit sad. But obviously I'm gonna put it straight in a chest because I wanted to enchant it. And obviously I would need leather to make bookshelves so I could enchant. Like it's just such a pain in the ass. But one thing I was noticing that it just seems to be getting colder, like a lot colder. And this is why I was in such a rush to start enchanting stuff, because I didn't know how much longer I'd be able to get sugar cane, just everything. Or even wheat. Like, because if it's going to be winter, not everything's going to grow. And I was hoping that this had a mob spawner in it, because I'm pretty sure this structure does. But at the time, I wasn't 100% sure. But when I entered, I was um, a little bit shocked by how many mobs just started like flushing out of every corner of nook and cranny just everything just started attacking me like this isn't even the worst part like this is fine but then just they just come out of nowhere <laughs> like look where are they coming from <laughs> but obviously i bravely retreated But I really had to get my XP under control since I had no way of farming it and I'm way too lazy to kill mobs for it. So, well, even though, even though this would still, yeah, I just contradicted myself, but that's okay. I mean, it's not, but that's fine. I found a diamond shovel and sweeping edge and bane of arthropods. Who knows what anyone would ever want to do with those enchantments, but it's fine. But the first thing I had to do was take out these pillars because they just would not fit. And dig a hole. Does anyone actually know the measurements to this farm? Or is it just winging it? Because I don't know and I've always wung it. Is wung it a word? No, wung it's not a word.
And one of the last things I had to do for this farm was get leather so I could make bookshelves. For God's sake, I hate having to make bookshelves. It is just the most annoying, tedious process. Just, it pisses me off so much. Like, I don't have words to describe how much I hate getting... Unfortunately, I had to replace my Aether Dragon, since it's just, they're faster than the other dragons, and they're just more convenient. So I hatched the Aether Dragon and the Ice Dragon. But I did a stupid and forgot to hit record at some point. So the Ice Dragon's grown up. So is the Aether Dragon. His name is Zeus, by the way. And I had bred my other two dragons, and I got a Water Dragon. And the lake's freezing over. That's interesting. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> but I was able to make my bookshelves so I could make my enchanting table and finally enchant all of my tools and armor so I could have, you know, not iron, not iron armor. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. Even though most of getting armor is just killing, killing these little dudes. And enchanting. You know how I said the lake was freezing over? So I had come out from enchanting my armor for some reason, I forget why. But it had snowed in that time, and it wasn't that long, it was probably like 30 minutes. But yeah, um, it's just a hunch, but I think it's winter. Like, I think the snow is probably an indicator that it may in fact be winter. Just, just, it's just a hunch. Just a hunch. Anyways, back to enchanting and slaughtering zombies. I had got some pretty good things, like Protection 3 isn't great, but I can work with it, so. Probably next episode I'll get Mending and some other villages, just, just to have them. Because you don't always know what you're gonna get. And there's some enchantments on pickaxes that I absolutely hate. But when I got home, it was snowing and I had noticed that it looked really patchy and that was bugging me. So I had to remove all of the torches against my better judgment, but it would look nice and that's important. But something really exciting happened. My water dragon had grown up and you can take water dragons in the water. And since Zabu had died in the water, this is kind of bittersweet, but you can take him in the water so, and there's a lot of loot in the water, like so much that I have not been able to explore. So obviously I took him water looting. Is that the correct term? Probably not, but that's fine. And don't get me wrong, a lot of the stuff that we found really wasn't that great. Like. Nautilus shells, they're not that bad, and I don't know what use I'm gonna have with them, but I just wanted them. And this is just an outright insult. Like, that's disgusting. That's not even considered a chest at this point. And sometimes I just had no words. And some of it was just adorable, so I had to take it home. It had no use other than to be cute, but look at these little pumpkins. You can't leave those, they're just too cute. <laughs> They look like they fell right out of a fall-themed catalogue, honestly. They're just too cute. What is an enchanted golden carrot? I have no idea. Can someone fill me in? Is it like a golden apple or like, is it, is it just useless? But obviously the first thing I did when I got home was fill my house with pumpkins and name the dragons. We have Aquaboo. I think that's a funny name. It's, even though he died this episode. It's still funny. Ivy. I, I established this last episode. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And Elsa the Fire Dragon. 
And I have absolutely no idea what to call the snow dragon. Or I think it's an ice dragon, but whatever. Can someone please suggest a name? It's not like I can call it Elsa. I've already got Elsa. I had found this little trash panda, like, earlier in the episode, but I think I had forgotten to mention it. Or even put it in the video. But that's okay. I had to move him inside out of the harsh winter. It, it's just cruel to not. It doesn't have a name, it's just Trash Panda. Or Trashy for short. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe. It really does fuel my ego, just exponentially. Like a little too much, it fuels my ego. But anyways, if you could suggest a name for the Ice Dragon, I would muchly appreciate it.